MBA was not really my first option back then. So I was always into giving competitive exams. I like doing that. So that's how I gave an attempt on CAT. So you got an interview without preparing at all in CAT. I got that interview call from I am Cody Code. That's okay. Today I have done this. Maybe tomorrow is my lucky day. How did you decide that I want to do IIM? MBA was not really my first option back then. So since we had these peer community, so there were certain people who were more keen towards MBA rather than going for an MTech or a job. So we used to interact and they were the ones who actually gave me this idea of MBA could even be an option. So I had this in mind, but I wasn't so keen about it. I was more keen about first thing, first priority being job then maybe an mtech and mba was just due to peer pressure you do things right so that's how i gave my cap for the first time during the engineering year so the final year of engineering i gave cat and luckily enough i got, got a good score and i was called for the interview that's how things turned out i didn't go for coaching classes per se i did preparation on my own during the weekends whenever i had time post job that's when I actually started preparing for CAT, which I never did during my engineering days. So tried all the mock tests. It was all practice, 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 give more tests, correct yourself, understand what you are lacking. And it actually worked. So that year I gave the CAT exam and uh, yeah, cracked it finally. Even during the bad days, it's okay. Today I have done this. Maybe tomorrow is my lucky day. So never give up or uh, even if you feel low, Pause, take some rest, Wrong. try it again. So that was the mantra which actually worked for me. So practice helps, practice works. The more you practice, the more you get better. Second, not just practice, evaluate. Evaluate at what you have done good, what you have done wrong. And next time, ensure that if you have done 50% wrong, next time, ensure that 10% has reduced. You should get that 10% correct the next time. So evaluate once you... I mean, any test you give, evaluate yourself. Evaluation is very key, that self-evaluation. And third, be, I don't know if discipline is the right word. Like I spent, like I was so sure that every week I spent so much hours uh, on this particular thing. So I was so determined, stick to, the, stick to your plan is what I would call it. And without, so I was quite surprised because without much preparation, I could crack, like get a good score. Uh, in the first attempt, and I got that interview call from I am Cory Code. Back then, I wasn't really sure of how things work. I didn't really, I know what I am is, but then I was not so keen about getting into an IM. So you got an inter interview without preparing at all in CAT? If you look at the CAT paper, like CAT, CAT uh, the CAT exam uh, pattern, question pattern, it's more of aptitude, verbal ability and stuff. I've prepared for some of it for my placement stuff because for all placements, the first round that we need to clear is this. Almost similar, it has this aptitude test, then the verbal ability, et cetera. So that preparation, if you, if I frankly say that preparation actually helped me for the CAT. So it was like, it just happened, uh, gave the interview, but then I haven't prepared much. I wasn't prepared for that kind of a scenario. 